Michelle here and Janet here and we are Gingerbread Corner. So today we are going to talk about our first ever market experience. Mm, what we were expecting, yeah, what the reality of it was and how we improved over the years <laughs> with the market. How we've got some game <laughs> <laughs> from the first time. Okay, so we first started making cookies in 2010, but it was like mm. late 2010, mm -hmm. and we didn't start doing markets until 2011 yes. to kind of really kind of get our name out yes, there and get yes. our designs out there. Yes. The first market we got accepted into because mm. we tried a lot to we get into. We tried to get into, into it. Yeah, but because we had no <laughs> name, we probably had an. Um, childish blog. Yeah, and we were like, no. Yeah, and because it was food, it's always a bit more dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, like, a bit more riskier. A bit more riskier. Also, like they didn't know what we were about. Mm. Like we were like, oh, we sell cookies. They're like, we already have cookies. Exactly. They didn't. Need see anything. Yeah, exactly. They thought maybe we were like those chocolate chip cookies. Or yeah, something. like those Moorish sort of cookies, mm. rather than beautiful cookies <laughs> that we do now. Um, so they did not. They didn't know who we are. Yeah. yeah. So the first one we got accepted into was Diamond Creek. Oh, Diamond yeah, Creek! Yeah, Diamond Creek is a school uh, in, school near, fate, in yeah. Australia, like sort of near the country, a bit further out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm a Diamond Creek like, It's not that country, I think it's on the northish side of our uh, place. They wouldn't call it the country, it's not regional Australia. It's okay, it was just really further out. From where we live. Yeah, it's far from where okay. we are. So on therefore, the other side. that's why I felt like it was a country. I can't please yeah. don't be offended. <laughs> don't be offended. She don't know what she's talking <laughs> about. Don't worry. It's so much wrong with the country anyway. <laughs> Nothing. It's just like people didn't want to live in the country and they thought they were like diving freak chic. And they're like, what? Country. So it was very bushy. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you know why it was bushy? Because I think we did a wrong turn and we went uh, down like a path that was not a road and it was just like bushland. Yeah. And it, I feel like we just <laughs> drove through bushland by accident. So we're like, oh my god, we're in the country. But we didn't see any cows or sheep. So therefore, I'm like, I don't think it's the country yet. Yeah, yeah, but it was at a school. At a it was a school fete, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. So before the market started, mm. Obviously, we had expectations in our head of what we thought it was going to be like. Yes. And we thought we were going to be like selling it like hotcakes. Yeah, like we were going to be so popular. Because yeah. obviously, all kids would want a cookie. And then, you know, yeah. our school generally has a couple of hundreds of students. <laughs> Clearly, everybody's going to buy a cookie. So we like prepared. We do, yeah, because also. We saw other businesses like cupcakes and stuff. It always seemed like they were selling out. Yes. And then there was always a line for them. So yes. we thought we'd be the same as well. Yes. But to be fair, like we saw them at festivals. Yes, yes. And this is not a festival. Like we've never we don't go to school for fates or haven't been to one since we were very young. So our recollection of it is not great. Yeah. Um, and actually they're not like a festival because it's just a small community of that school and we don't even know how big that school is, you know, yeah. it could be a small school. <laughs> Which I think that's what it was. Yeah. Um, so was. yeah, it's hard to sell out. Mm. Yeah, but that's what our expectation we was. We were gonna sell out. So we thought, okay, we're gonna make lots of cookies, lots. Like lots and lots. So I think we made about two hundred, which maybe doesn't seem like a lot now, yes. but back then it was hit eight, like lots and lots, and it ages. felt like ages. Ages. So we were just baking, <laughs> yeah. decorating, and then packaging it up because yes. we didn't know what, what, what we were doing. Yeah. Um, and our packaging was pretty bad. Yeah, we just like scrunched it up, like put it into a bag, scrunched it up, and got those really cheap plasticky like ribbons, ribbons that you use at Christmas. Yeah, you use yeah. at Christmas time and, and just tied it up. Yeah. That was it nice. looked pretty tacky. Yeah, no tag, <laughs> no uh, branding, it's just like homemade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And also the setup of our table was we just had a black sheet with yeah. no layers at all. We just laid all the cookies out on flat, that. flat, just flat. Mm. Um, and I guess we bought a table at least. We yes, had our own we table. Did have our own table. I think it was a, a two tables. It was it? like two car tables put together, put together <laughs> where people tripped over the legs. Yeah, yeah all oh. the time. Yeah, and it was like fatter than it needed to be, so we were really far from the customer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah, we just created, and we didn't even really know what the customer would like. We just created cookies that we thought people we, would yeah, like. Yeah, that's right. Well, we liked it. Yeah. We thought, oh yeah, they should like they it. Would it's sell. pretty. It's pretty. We put it all out mm. there. And we also did free samples mm. as well, which we don't do anymore. No. We did markets. No. <laughs> yeah. So, talking about the reality of the day. 
So the reality is, like we were saying, it was a small school fete. Mm. Um, there was a lot of store holders and a lot of obviously competition for kids to spend their pocket money on. Yes. So say like a child came in with like maybe five dollars for the day that the parent um, gave them, they would obviously need to pay for rides, maybe a drink, and then once they are done with that, they really have very little to spend <laughs> on anything else. And yeah. our cookie, you know, range from two dollars, three dollars. It's just not something a kid generally will spend on. Yeah, and um, plus because we weren't well known or anything like that, it was just our very first marker, mm. people would come up and be like, what are these magnets? <laughs> yeah, what are these things? What are these things? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did, so we put our free samples, but that's not a good idea when you've got kids around because yeah. kids would just come for the free sample. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they're not gonna buy. They're not buying. They had no money. They were just like, oh, free, can I try? And like, you know, at that point when it's out, you can't just be like, no. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it in the yeah, No, you <laughs> don't have one. I thought you had one. And I know there was this little girl, she was the cheekiest little girl. Yeah, I mean, good on you for being so cheeky and having, you know, um, the bravery to steal all our samples. <laughs> but she basically just came along and just like, took it and just like, scooped it into her hand and then <laughs> just ate it yeah. and took all our samples. Yeah, so there was a lot of dead moments at the market. Yes. yes. Um, our setting setup was just, it was really amateur. Very amateur. You know, it was just cut all the cookies just laid out there. Yeah. And people weren't sure what it was and the ones we thought would be popular, people didn't like at no. all. Even though we liked them. Yeah. But that's how it goes. Okay. And I don't even know what was most popular, to be honest, because I can't remember. It was like six I think years ago. Maybe so. dinosaurs? Yeah. Dinosaurs has yeah. always been a seller for boys, anyway. Mm. Um, ginger, we made ginger people. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They're with always, no faces. With though. no faces. We were, they were like uh, those New York. Yeah, they were like, we try to be fancy. We try to be hipster. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, hipster yeah. gingerbread people. Whereas, really, they just yeah. want things they can recognize, yeah. right? So, dinosaurs sold well because people could recognize the dinosaurs. That's right. A gingerbread person without a face is like, oh, I get it, it's a gingerbread person, but where's his face gone? Yeah. So, yeah, they didn't really like that. No. Okay, so obviously that was our very, very first market. Mm -hmm. And then later on we did a lot more, like a lot more markets. Yes. And we did get better. We, we, did. Did. we, we got, got better. better. Like, yeah, like, we thought, okay, we need some layers yes. on the table yes. so that it's not just one layer. Because yes. people like to look people like at to, different levels. Their eyes like to go up and down, which is what we read. Psychology-wise, yes. it likes to like have levels, obviously. Yes. And then it also displays your stuff better. So yeah. if you want things to be brought, you kind of need to push them more into their faces. So put them at a level where it's easier for them to see. That's right. Stuff on the back is a bit more expensive where you slowly move it to the front. But people like to think they have choice, but not really because you're kind of directing their eyes to a spot that's they right. wanted to buy. That's right. Yeah. And we got better with the decorations on the table. Yes. It wasn't just, I don't I think we just had a box or and a paper bag or something. Yeah. Our show pictures later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we got better with the decorations. It got a bit more fancier. Yes. We changed our table sheet from black to white. Yes. Because we didn't have a white sheet before. Yeah, we had that's a black right. bed sheet. <laughs> And it's, it's, when it's black, it's hard to see the design yeah. and the cookie. It blends, yes. So we had, we had to go get a proper wash sheet. Yes, yes. Uh, the sign that we've used has always been the same, though. Yeah, it was a homemade sign. The same. Gingerbread corner. Yeah. I made it myself. <laughs> um, and it hangs on twine. And that one's been quite popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That one's not bad because that it's just at the front fine. anyway. Yeah. yeah. And then the designs. We uh, got better as well, yes. and also we decided to do designs that people like rather than what we like yes, yes. because that doesn't really matter yes. when you're trying to run a business. Yeah. So we got rid of all the fancy stuff, all yeah. the, you know, not art deco, not yeah. hip stuff, yeah. just, just people, things that people can recognize. Nice, simple, basic yes. designs, yes. you know, like dinosaurs and fire trucks. Trains. Um, trains, yes. Gingerbread people with faces. With faces. With faces. Yeah, with faces. Yes. Characters that yes. kids would like. That's right. So we tailored a little bit more. Also, our pricing range got better. Like, we went to a, obviously a pricing workshop and they said, like, when you display things, people like to know the cheap, the expensive, and then there's this middle range, mm. which mostly where they buy from. Yes. So we knew that. That if that's the case, we made more products that was like the middle range, which made it, uh, and, and the eyes come to our display mm. and focuses on that, and then that's that right. moves it a bit more better yeah. as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, oh my god, what? We got more stuff. 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 We got more st
savvy about it. Um, I guess also the other thing we're probably better at now is building up rapport with mm. customers. So obviously the first time we did market, we're also younger, we're also probably from a corporate world and we're like more muted than anything. Yeah, so like yeah. people come up to us and we'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also because inside you're a little bit desperate for them to yeah. buy a cookie. <laughs> oh, buy a cookie. <laughs> but you don't want to scare them off. So yeah, it's yeah. Like, uh, and you like because you're maybe because at the start we were like insecure we didn't know if these cookies were a hit That's or right. not whereas after all these years where we're selling a decent amount of cookies we're like we know they're pretty good <laughs> they're pretty good they're pretty good not to brag not to I think people like them I think they're popular <laughs> so now we don't have to have that desperation yeah. like sort of either just hitting at our surface. That's right. And so, you can kind of gauge what customers are going to buy and which ones yeah. are not going to yes. buy. And which one are your like target yeah. audience and they're the ones that are curious, that want to chat with you and you know how to build up rapport and sort of explain your story yeah. and versus the ones that are just like, they're just looking. Yeah. That's okay. Or they just like to look at something. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But not but necessarily yeah. be your customer. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. Mm. Yeah. So, learned a lot with markets. We don't do them as much anymore, no. but we did heaps when we first started. Yes, so, yeah. it's really built up a, a, like we built up rapport with people. We met yeah. other people from yeah. the market. Which is great. We've got yeah. our name out there, yes, which is yes. very important when you're starting a business. Yes. And also meant like we could decorate all sorts of cookies yeah. and get pictures. Yes, and like, that's you know, important. If you don't get orders, then like, what are you making for? Like that exactly. purpose of making for something. So if you had a market, that's right. you're making it for a market mm. at least. Well, that is our first ever market experience. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week. Bye! Bye.